In this course, one of the things that we do is we look at different types of data structures and how to create them. Now, a lot of people ask, why should we bother to know how to do that when a lot of times we can either import a library or some of these data structures are built into the language? This is especially true given the fact that we're using Java in this course in order to learn these data structures, but Java incorporates a lot of these data structures themselves. Well, the answer is both simple and complex. The answer is simple in that we need to know how these systems work and understanding why they work and how they do their things makes it so that we know which data structures to use in future cases. So I want to make sure I'm using the right data structure. I don't use a linked list when I need to use a stack, or I don't want to use a queue when I need to use a vector or any of these other types of data structures that are going to be out there. We're going to look at, but the second and slightly more complex factor is not only do I have to know how these work. So I make sure I pick the right data structure, but I also need to know that sometimes these languages and the libraries that they provide, they provide because of flexibility reasons, almost data structures. The slightly more complex reason is that we're going to look at some data structures, which are provided by language, in this case, Java, but may not be exactly correct. And how correct that is and how exact and how much of a problem that might be is going to be up to you to figure out. So we're going to show you about the data structures. Then we're going to show you the ones that are built into Java because Java does give us a lot of data structures that are built into the language or easily accessible by libraries that we can import. But we need to remember that they may not be complete or completely correct. And so we may miss out on some functionality. Now you might ask, well, how are they not completely correct? Well, it can be because, for example, maybe it's extending another class. And so it has to import methods from that previous class that we don't need. And they did it to be efficient and make it so they're just importing it easily. On the other hand, it's not a correct implementation. Other people say, but if Java does it, or if any other language does it, we should just accept it. And maybe for implementation purposes, we can. But if we're looking at precision, we're looking at information, we need to know, is this going to be in the way? Can we really use this? And if we are using it, is there a problem with it? So these are just things that we have to know. We have to realize and think about as we're going through a system. Okay. So that's why we're going to look at some other data structures and we have a whole playlist and a whole set of videos on those data structures. So we know how to implement them as well as having a look at how Java implements them. So we can determine, can we just use that instead if that's easier and the correct function. So keep these things in mind because they'll help you be a better programmer.